Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use VisMe to create presentation. So basically VisMe is a website that allows you to create your own presentation with their templates. They have so many templates that you can choose from. Besides presentation, you can also create some infographics, some charts, some printables, GIF, etc. To create your presentation, you can go ahead and select from one of the templates that they've already have. You can either look around from the selections of category that they already made, or if you don't see the category that you'd like to present, you can just go ahead and click on their search bar and then type out what would you like to make. As for today, I'm going to create a presentation with the topic of education. So I'm going to go ahead and just select it. And then I'm going to browse around and try to find the templates that I feel fits me the best. So this is the templates that I chose to use. I'm going to go ahead and click use the templates. After you choose the templates that you want, me is going to give you a little tutorial. It's going to show you what you can do with your presentation. It's going to show you some of the things you can click uh, on the right side of the bar, also on the top side of your bar. The presentation topics that I'm going to create today is the history of makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and just type my titles. And after I'm typing my titles, I am going to choose the team theme colors of my presentation. Obviously, you can create your own color theme, but today I'm just going to use the one that they have already combined. You can also insert your own pictures if you'd like, like what I do over here. I uploaded some pictures that I would like to use as my background. And then uh, over here, I'm just trying to tidy up and insert some information and if you see there's a table of contents we're going to get back to it uh, after i'm done with most of my presentation the tools are very helpful but also quite simple to use there are many selections of elements of fonts and etc And here I'm showing you that once you input whether it's element or background, you can always play around with it by clicking effect. Maybe you would like to reduce the opacity or you want to change its color, you can go ahead and do that. They also provide some combinations of fonts in case you would like to insert some inspirational quotes or other things that needed font combination. Now, they also provide a features if you ever want to create or if you ever want to insert some data then the diagram like the one that i put over here it's very easy to use you can either insert your data manually like i have done over here i have input data with like two classification of percentage data or you can just input the data you already have whether it's google sheet microsoft excel google analytic or any other form that you have. And over here, I kind of changed my mind about the topic that I would like to present. Uh, I am going to change it from gender sewers makeup to uh, makeup style popularity based on their era. So over here, I'm just going to input my data manually. And I would like to inform you that the data that I'm going to put here is definitely a made up one. It's not based on any study whatsoever. I am just putting it here so that I can show you how this may work when it comes to diagram creation. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert all of the era or years that I'd like to present. And as you can see, the more year that I add, the more the color changing uh, and i am dragging the table so that you can see how many categories you can insert into the 
diagram and for now I'm just going to change the amount of percentage on each era. Once I'm done with the years and the percentage, I'm going to change the color of each year according to how I like. You can select the color from the available color uh, here that I show you, or you can also click on the plus sign on the top right of the color sections to create your own color. And after this, I was trying to insert some more data to my table, but I ended up changing my mind again. And I decided to just go with the data that I already have. Over here, I am just trying to add a subtitle under the title that I already put for my diagram. Once again, I'd like to inform you that these data are not accurate. I'm just making this up in order for, to show you how diagram works in VisMe. So beside the title and subtitle, there's also another segment from the diagram that you can take a look at, such as legend, uh, values, and also appearance. I am not going to play around with it too much for today, but be sure to play around with it once you make your own presentation with VisMe. And here I'm just showing you how you can play around with uh, the appearance of the diagram. You can flip the color around, you can also change its form. Maybe you would like it in the form of bars or in the form of lines. You can definitely be creative and choose the perfect form for your diagram. So these are the table of contents that I showed you earlier. Instead of making it just as it is, I create some interactive buttons so that when people click on the black tick that I put on the side of each uh, presentation title, they can just go directly to the page that they clicked. So to create those interactive buttons, you can just go ahead and click on the ticks. For me, it's the black tick that I put, and then I'm going to individually choose the actions by clicking actions at the top bar of my presentations, and then I'm going to link it to the page or the presentation slides I want the button to link to. And here I'm just giving some finishing touch to my presentation, and that's it. And here's the result of my presentation. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.